What's up, guys? Welcome to the kitchen. I'm Mr. Splash. I'm a grandmaster in the game of Risk Global Domination, and today I'm bringing you some EU Advanced Prog Fog Blizzard caps. Really do appreciate you guys for tuning in, as always. If you enjoy me, you enjoy Risk, you, you enjoy the content I create, feel free to give me a follow on all my socials. Links are in the description below. That's Twitch, TikTok, YouTube, and Twitter. Actually, Red, Red did not put his cap here. So, Black is down here. I'm not going to take a scab. I'll let them fight over that. Um, I'm going to put all my troops here. Um, orange is up here. Red is here. Black is down here. I'm hoping no one is in the Alps. So, got, got a pretty strong bonus for turn one. You under... Oh, I was about to fucking say, bro. Under no circumstance did he have that. If I can clear out the top of the map, I've actually got a stranglehold on this game. I have a, I have a two-point guard on the entire top of the map. If I go to Gaskinny and I sit here, I got one one cap over here and then Gaskinny over here. If I can clear all this shit out up here. Obviously, by, by that point, I've got half the map, so I should have a stranglehold on the game anyway, but I'm just saying. Very interested to see what, the way Purple's going to play this. I'm thinking Black may have went up and see a cheap purple cap. And then hit it. And he swapped caps when he saw this blue stack here. That's what I'm thinking happened. Because I see a, a huge purple stack right here. And of course we have the biggest fucking moron. Taking all troops off cap. And then breaking my bonus. I'm, I'm killing you now. I'm not letting you hold a bonus. I don't even care if his excuse is that he didn't know. Like, you got a noob who gaps off in Iceland and hits that. I think he attacked like four times. No, purple, purple still has his cap. I needed that France territory for literally one turn.
I forget who was up here. I'm gonna try to wipe out the northern side of the map. I'm thinking the reason I kind of abandoned this idea of going to war with orange is because I felt like purple is gonna come up. There's a lot of activity down here. There's no reason for him to go through all this resistance. He can just hit this one stack and slowly move up. That's another reason why I'm not going for Italy. Like, I think I would actually hold down here, but I don't think I'm going to hold up here. Because they're going to be so busy with each other down there. I think it's red that was up here. Because I remember thinking, like, why the fuck is he in these two random places? So I'm, I'm going to wipe all this out back here, stack a four here, stack a four here, put everything else right here. And then I'm going to start working down. Because I think these two will stall out a lot. If I, if I eliminate this corner, I don't think anybody will pay attention over here. Even though like this position up here would be stronger for me. Okay, so I, I would assume purple attacks Gascony and then fortifies this other four in and then he just stops. We'll see though. I'm gonna leave this one right here. They'd wonder why he's coming this way. The attack's absurdly slow. Him stacking there worries me. Because he didn't stack against orange. At all. Actually, he did stack against orange, apparently. I should have put this four in. Black leaving means we have to really, really, really worry about blue getting strong. So, hitting this territory to, provides no advantage for me, so I'm just going to chill, leave it there. Hey, appreciate the follow, you get my first. The implications of that name. I, I appreciate the name. I call Cap on that title. Uh, the, the proof is in the pudding. You can go check out my YouTube. I have completed a semi-auto EU Advanced Caps game in seven minutes so I, 
I challenge anybody to even beat that on auto settings, much less semi-auto settings. Because in semi-auto, you have to place your troops, then you have to place your caps, and then you have to start the game. Seven minutes, yes. It is on recording, too. And before that, I had an 11-minute game and a 13-minute game. I think it's actually titled The Quickest EU Advance Game Ever Played. But I think I might have two videos named very similarly because I think I, I had one that lasted 11 minutes and then I had the one that lasted like, like 7 minutes but I ended up having like some exposition after that. So it was like, I think the video was like 9 minutes long. Purple has nothing on cap. Oh, I yeah, I do not attack the fastest. That's for sure. That probably makes purple quit. I, the reason I didn't hit this territory, because I know uh, uh, Orient hasn't been cleared out. I don't want someone to end up accidentally clearing this out. I think um, Orange has overtaking red up here because he stole red's cap up here. I didn't cut anything. I I, I never I never cut anything. I, 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 it's essentially a straight a straight vod rip. Now I generally um I start recording right when the game starts. The only time I don't start recording right when the game starts is when I fuck it up and I uh, have to do like a double intro. So it's like a thirty second different max, thirty second second different difference max. It's possible. I don't know. Either way, um, I've got like three videos on there that are excessively short for you advanced games. So there's like there's like an eleven minute one, a thirteen minute one, and a seven minute one. I, honestly, I think I think it's the one that says the quickest EU advanced games ever played, but I don't know for sure. Cause there's like what there's like almost four hundred videos on there. That's what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure that one has exposition on it, though. But e even... Let's just say I mistimed it. Uh, I'm misremembering right now, which is definitely possible. Um, nine minutes is still fucking insane.
I'm, I'm hoping this is a kill. I don't think it is, though. It isn't. I'm pretty sure both purple and black are allowed in Orient. Well, yeah, I've actually... I think I saw someone once on an EU Vance game. They might have won turn one. Maybe. Maybe turn two. I remember a lot of shenanigans happened in one game that I played where I had, like, three guys hit, hit a cap of mine before I even had to go. It, like, some, like, some idiot hit my cap, then another idiot hit my cap, and my cap was still standing... But another dude just walked in and stole all the caps, and then, like, the next turn won the game. So, I, it was either one or two turns. But that, I, that was when I still played ranked, and I was fucking infuriated. Because it wasn't like my cap was weak. I had, like, fucking 14 troops on my on my cap turn one. Because I didn't even, I didn't have a chance, I, I didn't have a chance to go yet. It was insane. So, it might have been 12 troops, something like that. So orange uh, is not playing on cap at all. So now we wipe out orange and we have everything down to a two point guard on the entire north side of the map. Because orange wanted to break my Russia. And we're gonna hope, 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 hope that we can kill orange. I think White's attacking a lot back here, so here's what I'm, I'm hoping. I'm pretty sure Blue's going to wipe out all of this down here, and I'm going to go down here and search for Orange and Black if they're not alive up here. Or if, they're, like, if they have like territories that are outside of the north. I am thinking about starting to stream some story games on here. Because, like... Okay, purple gets three troops and two went there. So, purple's alive at least in, le in at least one more territory. South Russia, Vienna, Gascony. Kill orange. You love to see that. They should kill red. So what black's gotta be alive like He's gotta be still be alive in West Africa. Man, this is this is the clean fucking sweep, isn't it? Show me the money. No! I was hoping I could win this turn. That's why I did that. I would never have done that normally. Damn. 
Because I would have killed red, orange, black, and purple, and then blue all in one turn. If I would have split my troops just a little bit better up here, and I, if I knew exactly how... I, I guess how many troops orange has would, would, wouldn't been enough, but if he had like a 10 on cap, I wouldn't have been able to kill him there. Yeah, break all break all those bonuses. I'm, I'm sure that'll get you somewhere. Break all those bonuses. Oh, he thinks he can cap run? Uh, I don't think you know where all the caps are. Even if you could cap run, I don't think you know where they all of them are. Legit almost broke every single one of my bonuses. That's crazy. Wow. The dice continue. The dice continue. I don't think I can kill him. Yeah, I can, I can, I can. Boom! Got him! Guys, we really do appreciate you guys for tuning in, as always. Have a fantastic day. I will see you later. Um, I think, if you don't know my timing, I don't know how many territories Canada Advanced is. Oh, here's a good one, here's a good one, here's a good one, here's a good one. Uh, I was playing a Trigon's Labyrinth game, and I was down to one territory, it was... It was a Caps game. It was another guy with a cap, me with a cap. I was down to one territory, okay? And the other player had every single territory except for the the cap of the other guy in the game. And I went through all of Trigon's Labyrinth with all of its splits. And I ended up getting, um, um, like, I kept missing, a, like, the, the final two territories, at the top of Trigon's Labyrinth, so I was um, I was one territory short of killing him on Trigon's. I can't. I don't know how many splits it was because it was a Blizzard Trigon's Labyrinth game. But it was a lot. It was a lot to hit. I know it's less because apparently Command Base is the biggest map. But I, I think Command Base it's e it's easier because the territories are so large, so you don't get the you don't get the feeling that it's a big map. 